the grocery store is complicated. It is a labyrinth of merchandise that is food-based mostly. Vegetables, some cleaning utensils, maybe chicken. I don't know. I have groceries delivered because that's just something I'm not willing to navigate. Now, some people do this. They want to touch the fruit, feel it for ripeness, whether that's uh, like, I, I guess you can also do, can you do that with meat? Can you pick up different, you know, like steaks and, you know, uh, pork and see if it's ripe? Or is that a different term for me? I'm just not familiar. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today we're going to take a look at how we can get some more robust reporting out of Intune for our devices and applications by using the Log Analytics workspace and some proactive remediation. No, I don't I don't like any of, I don't like any of that. It's probably best if I just stay out of grocery store. Get Rubik's solving for the modern workplace. Okay, one of the most common things I get feedback about regarding Intune is the reporting. Now, there, there are different ways to like go in and, and, and get your own data for reporting. And I've even shown some of this stuff, right? Um, this is a dashboard in here. Um, if you want to go look at apps, you know, holistically, they got some stuff. You can see top apps by uh, installation failures. I mean, we don't really have any here. If I want to look at all apps, you can monitor apps, things like that. Discovered apps. You can see what's installed on your devices. App install status is going to give you that rundown. Um, but not everything's in one place, right? Same thing with devices, you know? So if you wanted to see maybe the health of all your devices at a glance, you have some pieces here. You have, you know, non-compliant. Um, you can look at Windows and see the list of your devices, obviously. But what we want to do is we want to show you how to build something more comprehensive and you can use a log analytics workspace for that this is an article i discovered i mean obviously some time ago this is from 2021 and i i've used this so much um that i'm going to put a link below uh, enhancing into inventory data with practical remediations and log analytics um uh, the folks who contributed to it i am not going to butcher any names so their names will be below thank you uh, to these great resources for putting this together and uh, obviously a lot has changed since then but this has been my inspiration for what i like to set up in a workspace so i'm gonna put the link below this is where we get all the script repositories from stuff like that and also where uh, uh when we get into the analytics workspace where we can get some of the reporting templates for it. all right so let's work in reverse for a moment in my other lab i have everything up and running so i'm going to show you what's going on so here in my intune logs if I go down to workbooks, I have two really cool um, custom books. The first is Intune Device Inventory. So what this is going to do is this is going to give me some some trends uh, of just what's happening in my tenant. This one is kind of new. There's not a whole lot here yet. But if we go down here, I can immediately see device inventory for all these devices that are checking in. And you can see as I start scrolling, there is a lot more information here that I'm going to get out of the default into, right? I can see last boot times. Um, you know, we could see things like uh, install date, serial number, BIOS version, BIOS date. Um, I could see the RAM from here. We get the CPU name, how many physical cores and logical cores, right? So quite a bit of information. Um, how much uptime we're looking at, okay? Um, you know, user, things like that. So, and I could see the normal stuff like compliance and, you know, uh, the management authority, join type. As I go down, I have a few other things. I have a storage report. This is giving me my, just on a, on a high level, my BitLocker status. And you can see, um, for the most part, I'm pretty good. Obviously my cloud PC is not using BitLocker, but that's gonna show up on the report. Um, any use of the keys I can see here from BitLocker. Um, I have a disk health thing running. So this is actually reporting if there's any issue with the disks, depending on the device, it'll tell me what type of media it is. I can see the, the disk name right here, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, anything I should be aware of. If there's more than one disk in a PC, I can see that. And the storage status, this is going to show me I can sort from best to worst. Or I can do, uh, you know, in this case, worst to best. This is going to show me um, my free storage rate. So, you know, 32% here versus, 
up here you got all the way up to 90% free storage. So this is really nice that I can see this all in, in one area here. Um, and this could be modified to a bit as well. If I go back to my workbooks, I'm going to show you the other one. That's the application inventory. All right, this is really cool because what this does, it allows me to see all the apps that are installed through my tenant. And for example, I could see what devices they're installed on. So this is showing me uh, Adobe Acrobat and we can see I have it on two devices. I could look at all my apps. That's probably going to get confusing, right? Um, it's not really going to give me what I want, but I can see that. So if I get rid of all and I want to look at uh, the Azure monitor region because I know I have that deployed and I could see that on five devices. But let's say I want to break this up between versions, right? So I'm going to come down here to Notepad++ because I know I just went through some upgrade thing with it. And here you go. It's telling me I have one device on the uh, 865 version of Notepad++ and another on 833. Um, and I can see those devices here. Um, you can see the trends of that app and how, many, how much installing you're doing. But if I also come back here and I just want to go to all, um, well, the view here isn't that good. Down here, I can see installed applications over time. So this kind of goes into, you know, having a better view into all the apps that are being installed. Uh, we recently did the usage one, but this is kind of another indication of, you know, what's being installed. So I can see here, obviously, Office is being installed, Edge, updates for Edge, the EPM agent. Um, so it's nice to see this. And then down here, I could be very specific with a device. So if I say, okay, well, you know, this device right here, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to take this name. And if we come down here, we can uh, actually paste that in and or select from all our devices. This is going to give us that device's specific inventory. Um, and we can see uh, where it's finding the evidence. In this case, it's the uninstall string. We can see the versioning um, and we can do this with all our apps, right? And this kind of sometimes will let us know if something shouldn't be here, right? Um, so you'll be able to see whatever's installed, whether Intune did it, or maybe a user installed something they weren't supposed to. So how can we make this happen in your tenant? Because obviously this is some good overall data. So I'm going to flip back to uh, the tenant we're going to build this in. And the first thing we have to do is make a log analytics workspace. Okay, so in portal.azure.com, actually, let me back that up. I was a little fast. Portal.azure.com, you can just search for log analytics workspaces it comes right up and we are going to create a workspace and this is similar to what we did before for the app uh usage um so let's do a resource group if you don't have when you create one i'm going to call this uh workspace oh, intune inventory oh i forgot i can't have a space next all right, let's just create this workspace. So once we have this, we're going to click on agents. And this is going to be a little different on what we did before. So see, the, eight, the this actual workspace has an ID and a key. Um, so we're going to take a quick note of that, actually, just like we always do. And I'll regenerate these. So by the time you see this, you won't be able to get into my logs, although you might want to. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Okay, so that's my workspace ID. And then I need a key, primary key. All right, I have those values saved. All right, so the, the big thing we need now is the script. So the inventory script, I'm actually going to grab all this and we are going to open this up in VS Code. And right, so I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here. And uh, there's quite a bit in here, right? So um, I'm going to kind of walk us through it and show us how to get it set up. The good news is there's not a whole lot we have to do in here to uh, customize it for us. So uh, the two values we're going to do is we're going to do our, our workspace ID and primary key. So we can go grab those now. That's the ID. And this is the workspace key. I got asked a lot why I don't alt tab um, in these videos. It's because this is a, a VM I'm remoting into. So the alt tab just never seems to uh, work. It, it works on my machine. So that's just one of those things. If anyone cares, 
that's all the information we need, but I want to break down this, right? So kind of similar to our migration script, there's a bunch of functions here, right? Getting the Azure tenant ID. Um, in fact, we can just look at all the functions in here. We have get Azure AD join date. We have, um, and then the rest are pretty much building tables, right? So after those two core functions, what actually happens is uh, we just start collecting information about the device. We get the installed applications. We start putting that together. Um, and then what we do down here is we start getting some device information and we essentially build a table for logs, right? So if you look here, uh, let's keep scrolling down. Yeah. So you can see what it's actually doing is we're building this like, um, essentially a custom object and we keep adding members to it. This note property member. Um, so like disk health state, right? Is a new PS object and we just add disk number, disk device ID, friendly name. So we're, this is how we iterate through and just collect all this information about our device. And you can customize this stuff, right? If you don't want to necessarily add, you know, the last boot time, you can get rid of this. That's fine. We've also been in situations, my team, where we've added to this. Right. So you can define something else, right? You can decide something way up here and, uh, you know, computer TPM present. Let's look for that. Um, so if we wanted to search where that is, that's being defined up here with TPM values. So you can define whatever you want and simply add it to the uh, table. Uh, but that's how the script works. Now, how is this going to run on the PCs? And more importantly, how is this going to run? How is this going to run from a reporting standpoint? Well, the good news is this is meant to be run through the uh, remediations. Now that I have that, and I'm going to go to scripts and remediations. Okay. So I'm going to create one. I'm going to call it Windows Inventory Report. Collect device and app data from managed PCs. That's descriptive enough. And I'm going to select that file on my desktop. Let me make sure I saved it first, but sometimes. All right, so desktop, and we're going to go into an inventory, and there we go. We don't need a remediation because we're not fixing anything. We're just reporting. Um, make sure it's not running using the login credentials. We want this running a system. We want it to run in 64-bit. And uh, for now, we're going to assign this to all devices. And because it's remediation, you can set up a schedule. In the beginning, you might want to do it hourly, just kind of kickstart it. In the future, maybe daily, you set the time you want that to run at. Because it's reporting, it's going to just keep running for us. Okay, so with that deployed, pretty soon you're going to start seeing that populate in the logs. So when you come into your workspace and you see logs, you're going to see custom logs now. And you're going to see these are the two reports being built in that script right? The device inventory and the app inventory. In fact, if we go to the top, you'll see that's what they're named. Uh, where was it here? Yep. App inventory, device inventory. So those are the two kind of logs we're constructing. And I can see here, if I want to run these, I'm going to get all that raw data the script is collecting. So if I drop this down, everything I'm looking for, computer name, model, BIOS information, TPM info, same thing with app inventory if I do that. So let me clear this out and do app inventory. I'm going to see information on these apps coming back. So in this case, it's Azure Monitor Agent, the uninstall string, the reg path. So everything will start coming up here once that script starts running. Okay, so now how do you build the workbook, right? Because we have the logs are going to come in, but when we come down to workbooks, we don't have any kind of chart or anything. So we're going to add a new workbook. We're going to head over to the advanced editor. And the advanced editor is basically allows you to copy the JSON of the report and paste it in here. So let's go back to the site for a minute. Um, these were our two reports. So I'm going to start with the device one. So you don't want to grab the preview. You want to grab the code, copy the whole thing, and you can put this right inside here so we can get rid of all this and paste that in there. Now we're going to hit apply. 
and we're gonna hit save. And we're gonna call this Intune Device Inventory. And don't worry about these red things, that's because there's no data coming through it yet. We just deployed the remediation, so that'll take time. I'm gonna do this again, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the uh, the app workbooks of sample workbooks, application inventory, code, and I'm going to grab that as well. So I'll come in here, get rid of what's there, apply that. Okay, same thing, that's fine, done editing, and hit save. We're going to call this Intune Application Inventory. Don't worry that there's errors here. There's just no data coming in. So if I go back to that remediation script and I look at the devices it's running on, I can see it's already run on all these devices. And of course, it's always going to show without issues. It's designed to. It's, it's just detecting. It's not remediating. So now when I go to my Intune logs again, okay, it's in custom logs and we see them here. Right, device inventory, app inventory. It's going to be populating all the data that the workbooks need now. I should be now able to go to my workbooks, go back to those, and start seeing that data populate. And of course, now I'm not going to get an error here because they are here and they're populating. I like this a lot because this is a solution that takes you know, a few pieces kind of hovering around into mainly the way remediations work, because you can time these out. You can decide how uh, how many how much you want this to run uh, on your endpoints to collect this data. Some folks uh, want to run it every hour for some once a day is enough. So you get to decide that. So it's kind of cool. And because it pipes it all up to the log analytics, um, you know, you don't have to be inside Intune to get this telemetry. So it's really nice if you want to take these dashboards and present them to some stakeholders who are only interested in the big picture. But, you know, this is an example of what you can do. I've certainly used this flow to do remediations, to log analytics for other things as well. We even use some of it in the, uh, in the device migration solution for a bit. So it's pretty cool. Again, shout out to the folks who worked on this. I am not even going to butcher names. That wouldn't be fair. And uh, let me know if you're using this. Hop in the Discord, whatever. And we'll be seeing you.